guys, what's going on everybody? My name is Lutzwanger, ladies and gents, welcome on back to another part in the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 gameplay walkthrough. This is, of course, the commentary walkthrough. The reason why I'm saying that is because you will be seeing a non-commentary walkthrough from me as well, and of course, I'm uploading a ton of other cool videos that I've been working on over the past few days. Thank you guys so very much for the support on part one. It was tremendous, over 2,000 likes in just under 10 hours. That is crazy, so thank you. Thank you, and once again, thank you. Look at this victory party. Mm. The brie is fantastic. Ooh. Pass me some more nachos. Sure, giant man. How much? How much nachos do you gotta feed giant man? Especially when he's in giant form. Welcome, wasp. Enjoy the spread. Although, I'd steer clear of the Asgardian boulevards. What is that voice? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, the voice they gave to a Tony is dick. He straight up sounds like Batman. I'd avoid that. Well, I guess the Hulk not being here means you saved on the catering. Incoming call from Nick Fury. Uh oh. Did you get those doors to the command center fixed, Tony? Um. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna have to wrap this up. Because I've got to go fix the command doors, right? You watch, I'll drive. Look at that. Nice cleanup crew. It is kind of funny to think of superheroes on, cleaning up and everything. It's like center. you would never think they would actually do that, but... It's pretty cool that there is a chance. Yeah, I know. We're trying to get there. We unlock two brand new characters. Captain America and Wasp, which is awesome. So this is uh, already the hub world, as you can see. This is not part of the... Um, story or the main story i guess so this is kind of a in-between missions type thing all right what do you need me to help you with tony so we gotta fix the door guess i didn't fix it after all whoops okay it's gonna take some extra parts to fix it but i've kind of got oil on my hands so if i told you the items i need do you think you could go find some and bring them to me i could try that's for sure all right, so we have four, I guess, what would you call those, gears? Three coils of some sort, and then three pistons hey of some sort? Oh, hello, Gwenpool. But let me just quickly lay down some sweet tutorial action on you. Okay. It'll only take a second. Sure. Tops. That's already more, oh, I was Over gonna say that's already more than one, but okay. Machine. Got yourself a cheat code? Punch it into that baby and unlock stuff without having to lift a finger. Okay, fair this enough. This is where you can buy my incredible, mystical, pink bricks, which unlock awesome extras like, well, that'd be telling. So Some it's basically right now, like uh, red power bricks. To earn. Okay, and uh, nice extra I obnoxiousness there. Cool, thanks. Okay, you on a so mission, we're gonna huh? grab that as well. I think some of those bits were lying around in here somewhere. Is there anything else in here? I don't see anything else, so I think we're good to go. So we have two parts, both of which were those gears. So let's look for other things. There's uh, one of the coils. Can I go this way? Parts Tony needs have to be around here somewhere. Yep, that's why we're finding them. Just floating through midair. I love that the party is just world saved once again. <laughs> it's like, it's like those uh, happy birthday banners that you would buy, but it's just world saved banners. I wonder if you could buy those at the dollar store. Probably not. It's not a readily available celebration, I guess. But in the Marvel Universe and in any comic book universe, really, I'm sure they are available quite readily because it's like, well, I got to rescue the world again. And just another Monday, you know, it's no big deal for them. All right, so we're looking for a total of, well, at this point, uh, three, four parts, right? So we're looking and we're browsing and we're scouting all along. Should I go into here? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, there we go. This is the trophy room here. So if I punch into here, what do we see? Oh, okay, cool. So this is a nice summary of every mini kit component in the entire game so this is all 20 levels or all 20 main levels of course because there are also gwenpool missions which are really cool let me grab that okay so that's the gears taken care of 
but we're still missing two other components, aren't we? Hmm. Well, that's a bit of a doozy, because I'm not really sure where we've missed them. All right, let's double back. It must have been somewhere before, probably in the foyer. Somewhere over here, hopefully. Let's see, I didn't go this way. Oh, there's one. Incoming call from Come on, Fury. grab that. There we go. Hey, I think we might have an incoming call from Nick Fury. Yeah, I know. We've heard it about a gajillion times. We'll give it away. <laughs> I love that they make fun of the fact that it's annoying, that it's just constantly going, incoming call from Nick Fury. Incoming call from Nick Fury. Hey, by the way, Nick Fury is incoming and calling. It's like, okay, gotcha. Great. That looks like it should be enough. Let me take those off your hands and we can finally get this thing open. Alrighty, Rue. Let's do that. Nice. All right, finally, we unlock Iron Man. So that is brilliant because now we've got Tony Stark on the case and he can help us out furthermore. So let's rebuild this machine. So the rebuilding system, by the way, has changed. It's now in three steps, which is kind of cool. So it's a little different to what it used to be in other LEGO games. Usually when you had to fix stuff, it would only be just pretty much like tapping one button. So. Come on. We yeah. still got to answer that call. Well, let's go. I'm almost there, Nick. Just hold on. One second. All right, so this is the main HQ down here in Avengers Mansion. And now we are ready to continue our story. Hello, Nick Fury. Yeah, what kind? I thought he said Siberia. I was like, what's that? Okay, so this is going to be an interesting one because we have three different teams working on one mission. So this is probably the most, uh, not the most difficult, but the most extensive of levels just because there is, there really is a lot to it, you know, so we will see, we will see how well we can do here. Across the globe has increased dramatically in the last few hours. The Avengers have assured the world's media this is just run of the mill villainy, nothing they can't handle, and it's in no way connected with earlier reports of a strange disturbance detected on the far side of the galaxy. Ha! Like you can trust anyone who wears a mask in tights. Right, now get out of here. I got a paper to run too, you know. Yep, sure you do. That's why you're vlogging all the time, basically. That's his entire job profile now. He's just a, a vlogger. Which is pretty hilarious, by the way. We'll see when we get a bit closer. The Winter Guard were unable to get this far. Sure is beautiful. And let's see who's going to be the first team that gets on this case. That thing? The source of the radiation spike. According to Wasp, the researchers have vanished. Let us sally to their aid. Okie dokie. So it looks like it's going to be Team Captain America. I mean, I know, obviously, you could say, well, it's Team Thor or something like that. But come on. Cap is the main leader of the Avengers. So he's always going to be okay, the leader of whatever team yes. he's a part With of. Great haste. Absolutely. Nice jacket, by the way, Cap. Thanks. Thanks. Is that supposed to be his winter jacket? Because it just looks like an AIM outfit. Oh my gosh. Remember that storyline about Captain America being Hydra? Is he also part of AIM? Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, Cap, you're just, you're not going to be able to catch a break, are you? Just constant, <laughs> constant problems for you, my friend. Okie dokes. So let's see what we're working with over here. A few boxes. That's what we got here. And those boxes can be assembled into something or another. So we will get to work on that in just a sec. But first, we got to do a little bit of smashing, a little bit of bashing. Because that's just the strat you got to hit in this situation. So let's go on ahead and create. Ooh, okay. That's a jump pad. Care to give me a boost with your oh so shiny shield? Um, sure. Here you Wait, go. What? Booyah. 
All right, good stuff. Now, Thor, of course, doesn't need any boosts because, well, he can fly thanks to Mjolnir. So that allows him to do uh, some of that flying business. Careful. No, stay up here, She-Hulk. We need to press this button because that's our way to get Captain America up here. All right, Cap. Jump onto... Never mind. I was going to say jump onto the elevator, but... Ah, there's not much of an elevator left, so... Yeah, that won't work. So let's build whatever this is. Good Probably a fan now of some type. Right. Yep. There we go. Uh, Cap, can you... What are you doing, dude? There you go. Why is he, like, flying upside down? That was weird. He must be a fan of Stranger Things. Okay, here we go. I've made it to the next layer, where there's a big giant satellite dish. Where there was a big giant satellite dish. I better take care of that fire. My shield waiting. Be able to smother the flames. Okay, cool. So he still has that ability. I don't think he had that ability in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 1, but in Lego Marvel Avengers, he did have the ability to put out flames. So that's definitely quite cool. So let's go on ahead and put out these fires here, shall we? Ow. Darn it, that hurt. And there we go. Good stuff. So now we need to actually repair the dish. Never mind. We're going to break the dish even further, because why not? Thor's just hanging out. Thor's just chilling. He's just like, I'm just chilling like a villain. And boom! Here's the God of Thunder. Come on. Charge it up. And with all that energy inside, kablam! We have gotten access to the shield switch inside. That is brilliant. Good stuff. That allows us to go on ahead and power down those doors, which in result basically puke up a whole bunch of Lego parts, which is what we need because we need to build them into something. All right, so you know what I want to do? I want to get rid of those big giant cannons because it's not fun that they are constantly firing at us. So I think if I just maybe stand right here. There we go. Ha ha. You have been defeated, cannons. Goodbye. And don't have a nice day. Because they're cannons. Oh, whoops, there's another one. I'm surprised that one wasn't firing at us because we were so close to it. So just due to the distance that we were in, you'd think it would have already gone off. But hey, oh, that was pretty lucky. Pretty, pretty lucky. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're probably going to go on ahead and move this way. Because we're obviously still missing a few more parts. And that shield switch is inside here. So we need to figure that out. Alright, so for now let me go up here. Okay. Let's use Thor for this. I could probably use She-Hulk for this as well. Because obviously she has super strength. What's back here? Nice. Make sure you get that, guys. That's a purple stud. Oh, and there's another blue one that I missed. I mean, that was that blue one that made me go check. Is there... Valuable studs back here as well. Yep, even more purple studage. So that is brilliant. Make sure you gather those, because obviously they'll be quite helpful. All right, so let me go on ahead and charge this up. Come on. There we go. And... Now Captain America slow walks. Did you see that slow walk? What a show off. He's just like, yep, I got this. This is all under control. All right, Cap, put together that shield switch and then utilize your shield to uh, turn on that switch. And that hopefully gives us the final bits that we need. So that is brilliant. Good stuff, good stuff. Okie dokes. All right, let me go on ahead and put this together. And now we have a big giant switch. So using the cap switch or the shield switch, we got ourselves now another big giant to switch to, to turn around. Now. Sure hope everyone inside is okay. Sure hope so too. I don't see anybody inside though. Radioactive materials detected. Oh, no. Lockdown in progress. 
us. Okay. I'm going to predict that they're not okay. I see someone. Excuse me. Hello. Are you all right? Do they look all right? They've got skeletons for heads. Oh gosh. My father's beard. <laughs> That's a good line. Agreed. We need to contain the situation now. Let's move. Yep. All right. So, let's move. I, can't I think we can try. We need to find a way to rebound the shield towards it from a suitable angle. What's this? Hey, oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Got ourselves a mini kit. That's right, Thor. It is an ancient relic of great importance. I cannot believe that it is so important. But for now, we must create a shield. Cap. Bounce point. Yep, that was that that came out right. That was kind of a sentence, I think. All right, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to activate the switch that is actually all the way back there. But if we bounce our shield off of this and then bounce it into the other red point over there, I think, ta-da, we've got it. Whoa. So that is brilliant. I know not. Well, we did something. Yeah, I don't know if that will open the door. Yep, it opens the door. And behind door number one, your prize is an explosion. Okay, he's not all right. He is covered in Nickelodeon slime. Okay, holy, how is he so strong? He just knocked Thor out. That was craziness. All right, I've almost defeated him. So I'm going to wait for him to charge at me. Come on. Look at this team up move. Booyah! Nice. Come on, dude. I can't attack him right now. He needs to do that charge attack. Maybe I need to create more space between myself and him. Yep. And then now, we can deliver the final... I was going to say the final blow, but... Okay. Didn't really work. Got him. Hopefully that'll keep Ooh. down long enough for us to figure out... Wait. Someone else is here. I can almost feel a strange... Oh. Uh, presence? Distinguished guests. I've been expecting you. This guy looks like a rip-off of, like, Frieza. You are the vile fiend from Dragon Ball Z. Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Thor, the mighty Thunder God. God. Is he a Russian? Minions. Get them, my radioactive Bow. minions. Uh-oh. The shield is gone and we gotta fight. Oh, come on, no way. I will fight you. Come on. Yikes. Booyah. And now we attack. Come on. Oh, no. You shall be defeated. Come on, Thor. It's hammer time. All the time. So he just keeps summoning waves of these skeleton warriors. Oh, and now he's got Captain America back with him as well. That's just great. Not really, of course. I am kidding when I say that. So let's take out Cap first, because he'll do a lot of damage to us. So I might as well try to take him out. Come on. Come on, charge at me. Look how far I am. Don't you want to just charge ahead? There you go. Go on a bit of a run. Ow. Okay, that hurt. I'm not going to lie. Help him, She-Hulk. Cap's got him. Nice. All right, so I've taken care of that. And now we can punch him again. Because we've taken out Captain America. Come on. That's it. Bye-bye, presents. The collective mind of the presents is no match for Mjolnir. Mjolnir. <laughs> She's just juggling them around. She's like, this is no problem. I got this. Don't you see? This is just a test. My powers are enthralled to a higher command. You will see in time. Uh-oh. Time? Kang? He's working for Kang. 
It's good to see you. Hey, look at that. Glad we could be of assistance. That's the uh, Alpha Force, right? Or Alpha Flight? This is a very unusual technique. <laughs> She's just like straight up doing what uh, Hulk did to Loki in the first Avengers movie. So, that presence is gone. Meanwhile, in the depths of the ocean. Ooh, sweet. Cool team up. Iron Man and Captain Marvel. Whoa. He didn't, but probably all his ocean friends did. Uh, sorted out its cash flow problem. Ah, look, it's the Roxxon Corporation. That's like the world's nicest great white shark. Let's give them some real bang for their buck. All right, let's do that, Iron Man. All right, Tony, let's find the generators and plant the charges. Got it. All of those investments that uh, Tuma made, uh, they're going down. I'm yelling timber. And look at this elevator system. That's brilliant. Takes us up here. Um, can I just... There we go. And then we need to melt this down, don't we? So let's do exactly that. Kablam. Uh, there's a big switch to pull. Let's do exactly that as well. And... Uh-oh, here we go. Yikes. Smash and bash. Oh, I wasn't thinking. Sorry, Tony. Come on. Can we go on ahead and uh, plant the charge here? That's one of them set up. Two to go. Uh, you should probably move, Tony. You're kind of really close to it. Wow. Okay, that was surprisingly not as damaging as I thought it would be. Because <laughs> you'd think that would just destroy him as well. Oh, no. It's a Tuma, a Tuma Matata. It's the world to do tea. However that song goes. It's your destiny. Ow, ow. Okay, relax, dude. Relax with all that damage. I'm sure we haven't. There's two other charges to plant, so it would make sense that we have not seen the last of you, dude. It would just make sense, honestly. All right. Now, of course, there's a lot more to the level, but we would earn the ability to go look at all that stuff once we do free play or the 100% walkthrough because it's at that point that we can actually gain access to a lot of this stuff that is right now inaccessible. Okay. So on this side, it's not as easy as melting something down, it looks like. So the blue pipe leads us to maybe like an elevator shaft. Can I swim up? Yes, I may. And, all right, Tony, time to fix some stuff. You're always good at that part, so get on it, man. Okie dokes. I got that done as well. Wow, those guys are going ham on us. Look at that. It's like crazy. Give me a break. I'm trying to just pull a lever. Relax, Atuma soldiers. Oh, wow. They actually defeated us. That's crazy. Wait, what? Where am I? How far down am I? Got to get it all the way back up there. Oh, okay, cool. So I can actually just swim up on the side. I don't actually have to go through the pipes or anything like that. There we go. There's something important. Looks like a big giant cup, honestly. Like a teacup or something. Drop down to the lower layer. And then defeat the Atuma soldiers. Because they're just annoying. And now, we may, whoops, we may, I think, come on, really, gain access to this next area where Tony and Captain Marvel can go on ahead and get rid of the second charge. Whoa, okay, relax, everybody. Switch to her. And we need to press circle to activate our shield. Our laser bubble shield, which allows us to get past the lasers. Cool, brilliant. All right, so with the help of Captain Marvel, we have now gone ahead and taken care of the second generator that Atuma has been using. So, bye-bye.
Boom shakalaka. That's how it's done. All right. Oh no. Where is he? Oh, that scared the heck out of me. You command us? Yeah. Good luck with that. Okay. I mean, I I admire his perseverance with the sword slashing and everything, but we kind of destroy him pretty quick, so it's really not that big of an issue. All right, going back through the pipe, and I think the only one that we haven't been to is the yellow one, correct? So let's hop back into here and see where this takes us. All right, another one of those spinning guys. Luckily, over here, all I have to do is just melt this thing down again, so... Actually, I wonder, does she have the melting ability as well? Yes, she does. Cool. I just figured I might as well double check, right? Okay. Here we go. Lever has been pulled, and my goodness, there's a whole welcoming committee in here, huh? Hello. Hello. Bye-bye. Tony, take care of that. Well, we just did. Think we can destroy it? Yep, it's giant silver Lego objects. We can do that. Now, I don't think Tony... Yeah, neither Tony nor Captain Marvel have the ability... Ouch. How the heck did he do so much damage to me? That was crazy. But neither one of them can interact with that bit. So again, that's something that we would interact with in the uh, free play. So like once we unlock free play for the level, we can come back and play any character we want. We're not just limited to the story characters, which in this case, of course, for this particular section is Iron Man and Captain Marvel. Okay. Ah, I get it. Great pun. Not. That was a fantastic <laughs> I like, gently, gently. Ooh, this is a cool team up. Check it out. Ms. Marvel, Kamala Khan. Then we've got White Tiger. And it's Spider Man. Booyah. And that's the uh, homecoming outfit, no? <laughs> She's such a fangirl. Hey, you see White Tiger. I want my brand new threads and everything. Who are these guys, anyhow? Uh, that's flat top. Which means there are probably a few super villains up ahead, too. <laughs> Look at Stanley. He's like, just the help me, please. Versus the Bridge of Anarchy. This would make an awesome fan fiction. Let's focus on saving civilians first. Yeah. Team names come later. Like, way later. All right. We don't want to be the Revengers or something like that, right? It'll be awkward. All right. So, here we are. Isn't this the taxi that Stan Lee was sitting in? Because it doesn't seem to be the case anymore. So we can do some smashing and bashing here. By the way, that straight up looks like MJ and Aunt May. I'm pretty sure those are supposed to be Aunt May and MJ. Because they look like character models for those characters. Okay, so let's pull this. And... Okay, hopefully that person had insurance. Because if they didn't... Yikes. Okay, so let's create a tight rope walk. There we go. See, Booyah. I have my uses. Brand new ability, by the way. That is not an ability that we saw before in any other uh, Lego Marvel game, so very cool. I mean, we obviously saw webbing before, but that is like a. The ability to create use two points to as anchor points and create uh, a crossing is new, so that's kind of cool. So much All right, Spidey, let's go. And speaking of material, what's that costume made out of anyway? Are you a fan of unfashionable cushions? Hey, here we I go. Don't mock the shocker. So I've got a battle against shocker, blasts, shocker now. Whoa. We got this. Just Come on. I'm trying. He's just trying to get away a lot. There we go. Look at these combo wombos. 
It's very cool to fight Shocker already. Whoa, okay, that's a big Mysterio. Ah, gosh, I really love Mysterio. He's awesome. Such a cool character. I really hope we get to see Mysterio in a movie. That would be awesome. Like, if Spider-Man Homecoming, the sequel to it, whatever it's called, has um, the Shocker. I mean, sorry, not the Shocker. Um, Mysterio. That would be so awesome. I'd love that. Just imagine how cool it would be to have all these, like, illusions and magic tricks in the uh, movies. That'd be fun. Okay, so now I gotta fight all these Mysterio goons, don't I? Um, okay, that's probably not an illusion. He just made a big giant truck flip. Luckily. Um, kind of. Yeah, it hurts when they punch you, so I don't think they're... Yeah, but it also is a situation of where... If they punch you and it hurts, they're real. You know? Alright, Kamal Khan, it's your time to shine. Get him over here. Come on. Nice. What do you mean? You're like low HP. I think I could defeat you probably right now. Uh oh. There we go. Ooh, look at that combo. Uh oh. Careful. Ow. Darn it, that hurt. That made me lose a lot of studs, too. Oh, don't lose the blue one. Oh, come on with these Mysterio goons. They are just unstoppable. There we go. What's this all about? Hey, it's vulture time all the time. So it's kind of like the Sinister Six is coming together. You got Shocker, Vulture, Mysterio. Who's next? Ah, that would be Kraven the Hunter. Hello, Craven. Great comic book storyline is uh, Last Hunt with Craven. Really cool storyline for sure. Alright, so he is charging ahead. The lion, that is. So we need to figure out a way to get this lion off our backs. Or off our everything, really. Because we just don't want to be attacked by a big giant lion. So, I think that we are already on it. Kablam! It's steak time! Medium rare? Is that how you want it? I have no idea. But we've cooked it for you. Guess our new friend was just hungry. That's a... That, look at the size of that steak. Like, when compared to his head. It's like, what kind of animal was that? Was that like a dinosaur? Okay. Here we go. Now we get to fight Craven. No Good point, Spidey. Agreed. But we're doing all right. He's gonna go for his spin attack, and when he's spinning like that, you're not interrupting it. Neither can you interrupt that jump attack. So I have to be defensive sometimes, uh, just as often as I am offensive, because otherwise we lose. I'm just gonna wait. Oh no. Okay. That was actually not bad. Uh oh. Now I have to be patient again. And now we can go on the offensive once again. Come on, come on, Khan. Finish that fight! Oh wow. I think he has no HP left at all. So what's up with that? There we go. Alright, so before we leave this area, might as well go on ahead and collect some of these valuable studs. Because why would I not? Oh, come on, lay off me already. Raftville. Oh, no, wait a minute. I didn't want to leave yet. I want to get that blue stud back there. There's actually two blue studs. And Vulture's taking us over to the other side of the bridge, where we are going to greet... Or be greeted by, oh, yes indeed, yes indeed, it's Dr. Octopi, a.k.a. Octopus. Okay, here we go. Yikes. Sinister, because the Sinister Six, get it? So, the best strat against him is to just use your long-ranged webbing abilities and damage him that way. I mean, that seems to work, so... Just get a little bit away from him. Ouch! Or, I guess, hey, he listened to me, so I appreciate it. 
get a lot away from him. This is it. No Look at that. That works really well. I am. There we go. You see what I'm talking about? Okay. Alright. I'm gonna separate myself again. And then... I don't think I can damage him at this moment when he's got a car in hand. Because I don't seem to do any damage to him. Whoa! Get away from me. You gotta outsmart them. Use your Peter Parker brain. I mean, he's pretty smart as well, Officer. Just lead Doc Ock. Ow. Move, 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 move. And... Wait, what? Whoa. Okay, so just by staying in midair, I was able to dodge most of the harm from that. So just stay in the air, and you'll be fine. And then, just like that, we have shut down the one, the only, Dr. Octopus Mech Suit. <laughs> we knocked his hair off his head. Wes, that was so epic. Well, hey, it was a team effort. Hmm. Wow. What a rush. <gasps> and even more fun than how I'd have written it. I mean, taking on five <laughs> super villains and then... I like that she says uh, more fun than how she had written it. Because she wrote a fan fiction about this. Okay, selfie time all the time. And it looks like the Guardians have arrived on Earth, huh? Appreciate you answering our distress call from the Avengers and their ally defeated Loki's master plan. And we're on top of all the usual planet-wide villain. No, there's something else. Uh, yep. That big giant sword? Yeah, that's not a sword. That's a ship. Well, actually, if it was a sword, it'd probably be just as scary. of civilizations have fallen to my forces and your city yikes that's crazy the fact that he got like where what place did he go like is that there's like a place like pimp my spaceship where you just go to it and you're like hey i want a spaceship that looks like a sword you know him and ronan both of them have pretty awesome looking ships and so does thanos actually Hey, is that a reference to Thanos? Or is that a reference to Galactus from Marvel Super Heroes 1? I need to check on shield. What's left of it? Guys. There's some big things landing onto the ground. Hey! What's the matter? Oh, there's a lot that's the matter, right? Spidey, aka Webhead. And just like that, the magic trick of making New York disappear by Kang has just happened. That was uh, quite a crazy ending, huh? So, business has just picked up. Level 1 was just kind of fascinating from a perspective like, what the heck is going on on Xandar? And then now... Well, that trouble has come to Earth, so we'll see how this story continues to unfold further and further as we continue to get through it. So this was a pretty lengthy part in the walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the longest level in the game, though, so from here on out, we're not going to have, obviously, parts that are quite this extensive. And I could have taken even longer to finish the level if I, like, had actually gone out of my way to smash and bash every little bit and piece that was out there but what is cool is that this level also rewards you in a really really hefty manner because we get a lot of new characters unlocked we get captain america in his like um 
I guess, what would you call that? Like winter attire, like cool jacket and everything attire. Then you got Captain Marvel, who's awesome, of course. Hopefully that movie's awesome when that comes out. Then we've got the unmasked version of Captain Marvel. We had Peter Parker, Spider-Man, uh, Electro, Craven, uh, or sorry, not Electro, Shocker. Then we also had Doc Ock. Uh, so a pretty stellar roster. And of course, Ms. Marvel and White Tiger. So a pretty stellar roster of characters unlocked. We also did manage to increase our total stud count to 226,000, which is brilliant. So thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll hopefully catch you guys here next time. Peace out. See you later. Alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.